faces to the dark cloud of Lord Krishna, which showers with the goddesses of the eight directions with a shower of sweetness, which nourishes the leaves and flowers that are the brokers, and which firmly embraces the glorious moon that is dreaming to Radha Rani. Lord Shiva, who is crowned with the half moon, and who is known as the protector of the gopis, appeared to me in the dream and ordered me to write this play named Lalita Madhava. I'm very, very eager to present it to the all assembled Vaishnavas who have come under the shade of the Kalpa Tara tree beneath the Overdone Hill on this most auspicious disappearance day of my dear elder brother, Sanatana Swami. I offer my humble obeisances at his lotus feet, the spiritual master of the whole world. Who is seated here in the audience? The audience are endowed with divine qualities. Who am I? I am the foolish Guru Goswami. I am awed by seeing good qualities in the audience. Where is my assistant?
the light from him pains the eyes and makes him very difficult to see. This cannot be in the Yaksha. This is not the natural effulgence of his body. This comes from some other thing. From what other thing? The jewel on his crown. What is this splendid jewel? He was the head of the guards at the very treasure. He liked the jewel, so he stole it. Oh no! Today is Sunday. Friday is Sunday going to go to the temple of the sun, but you must forbid her to go. Oh, Brenda, she is left for the temple long ago. Brenda Lata, you must immediately bring Krishna to Radha's side. I will get power on you. Part of you must go. Fire. 
to disguise as a phenomenon. Otherwise, why would my heart melt with love? As only moonlight and nothing else makes Chandra Brahman jewels melt. You know that it is only Krishna that makes my heart melt with love. Oh, Raj, you give sweet advice. This is Krishna. No, but it's you. Look, here are two Brahmanas learning in the scriptures. Gargamuni told me that the daughter of Marjorie Chibani is in great danger and 
is being protected by a demon killing mantra under a copper tarot tree. Oh, my way, I am going to do something! Don't worry, there's a copper tarot tree right in our side. So please go feed this brahmachari and send Purnamasi back. We will stay here a while and follow this cycle of our community. Still you enjoy pastimes on the chest of my mind. 
separation shown by the different groups of the gopis that are dear most to Lord Krishna, brought the queen of Vrindavan forest, Vrinda, to the different houses of Srimati Radharani's rivals.
pathetic cries has drowned the entire world in an islandless ocean of intense pain. These marks that appear on the all tolerant earth that have seemingly been made by the moving wheels of the chariot are in reality made by the distant cries of Radha. Alas, the pain of separation from Mukunda has unsettled Radha's mind. One moment she runs above, 
their minds and lives are dedicated to Lord Krishna. They cannot help but feel intense transcendental pain of separation. But they're crying, although appearing like symptoms of misery, are actually the highly elevated state of transcendental bliss. Now I understand. As it is said, whenever a Vaishnava is unhappy, one should understand that he is experiencing the actual spiritual bliss. In this play, the Supreme Personality of God and Krishna is the hero, the most more charming than Cupid. His transcendental pastimes make him the most charming and playful person. This Lalita Madhava is full of the 64 arts with ponds, ornamentary literary ornaments, and musical poetry, anyone who is intelligent and learned will worship the Lanita Madhava. Standing by the shores, in all directions, I have freely sprinkled the nectar water that is the stream of transcendental mellow. I beg the exalted devotees to please forgive me. <laughs> 